most of your creative quote unquote genius in, in quotes is in the privacy of your mind? Yes. Well, it was. Um, but here's the thing. I, I was talking to Daniel Eck and he said, he's like, most artists, they have about 10 years, like 10, 10 good years. Um, and then they usually stop making their like vital shit. Um, and I feel like I'm sort of like nearing the end of my 10 years on my own. And um, so you have to become somebody else. Now I'm like, I'm in the process of becoming some, somebody else and reinventing. When I work with other people, because I've never worked with other people, I find that I make like that I'm like, exceptionally rejuvenated and making like some of the most vital work I've ever made. So because I think another human brain is like one of the best um, tools you can possibly find. Um, like it's a, it's a funny way to put it. I love it. It's like if, if a tool is like, you know, whatever HP plus one or like adds some like stats to your character yeah. like another human brain will like square it instead of yeah. just like adding adding something <laughs> double, double up the experience points i love this we should also mention we're playing tavern music before this and which i love which i first when i think I you had I to first, stop the tavern music yeah because it doesn't the the audio okay okay but it makes <laughs> yeah it'll make the podcast <laughs> add it in post add it in post no one will want to listen to the podcast if <laughs> they we... probably would but it makes me it reminds me like of a video game like a role-playing video game where you have experience points <laughs> there's something really joyful about wandering places like elder scrolls like skyrim just exploring uh, these landscapes in another world, and then you get experience points, and you can work on different skills, and somehow you progress in life. And I don't know, it's simple. It doesn't have some of the messy complexities of life. And there's usually a bad guy you can fight in in um, in Skyrim. It's dragons and so on. I'm sure in Elden Ring there's a bunch of monsters you can fight. I love that. I, I feel like Elden Ring. I, I feel like this is a good analogy to music production, though, because it's like I feel like. The engineers and the people creating these open worlds are, are it's sort of like similar to people to music producers where it's it's like this this hidden archetype that like no one really understands what they do and no one really knows who they are but they're like it's like the artist engineer because it's like it, it, it's both art and uh fairly complex engineering and well you're saying they don't get enough credit aren't you kind of changing that by becoming the person doing everything aren't are, isn't the engineer well, I mean, others have gone before me. I'm not, you know, there's like Timbaland and Skrillex and there's all these peop people that are like, you know, very famous for this. But but I, I just think the general, I think people get confused about what it is and, and just don't really know what it, what it is per se. And it, it's just when I see a song, like when, when there's like a hit song, like, um, like, I'm just trying to think of like, just going for like even just the, a basic pop hit, like, um, like what's it? like rules by Dua Lipa or something. The production on that is actually like really crazy. I mean, the song is also great, but it's like the production is exceptionally memorable. Like, you know, and and it's just like no one, I can't, I don't even know who produced that song. It's just like, yeah. isn't part of like the rhetoric of how we dis discuss the creation of art. We just sort of like don't consider the music producer because I think the music producer used to be more just simply recording things. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's an interesting because when you think about movies, we talk about the actor and the actresses, but we also talk about the director. Directors, yeah. And we don't talk about like that with the music as often. Or, um, the Beatles music producer was one of the first kind of guy, one of the first people sort of introducing crazy sound design into pop music. I forget his name. He has the same, I forget his name, but um, you know. Like the, he was doing all the weird stuff, like dropping pianos and like, yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. to get the yeah, 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 to get to get the sound, to get the authentic sound. 